my brothers and sisters and my beloved confreres hearty welcome to each one of you to the fourth sunday of advent as i grow in age and maturity i tend not to take miracles so seriously it is not at all a denial of the miracles of jesus i believe in them wholeheartedly in the gospel of mark in its last chapter the last words is all about the attestation of the miracles of jesus the disciples went out and preached joyfully and the lord accompanied them and approved their message with the signs that attended it and i believe the miracles of jesus are important and equally valid at the same time there is a necessity for each one of us to believe in the grace of god to live our lives in its actual reality with a positive frame of mind there is a beautiful incident mentioned about this particular couple mira and hari after their wedding they received a wonderful gift a beautiful child in their lives but unfortunately as in human terms when we think this child was affected by autism this couple was so sad they prayed to god to give a healing to their child once they went to a retreat center and they were staying there attending a five days retreat every day mira and hadi would lay their hands on their child and pray for the child's healing one day during the adoration the priest who was animating the adoration announced there is a special child in our midst and this special child is entrusted to the care of mira and hari tears were flowing down their eyes that evening when mira and hari were sitting together with their child in the hand mira told hari hari we are so lucky to have our beautiful child thank god that we did not give up our child to a special home instead god has entrusted us with this child to take care of her lovingly this is a special child is it not a miracle in the life of this couple that they accepted the reality of their life with that grace of god that flew into their lives yes my brothers and sisters today we are presented with a special mother mother mary in the natural sense of the word when we speak about mary the mother of jesus we say that she was an uneducated woman someone who lived in a remote village but god decided to choose her as the mother of the messiah we are given the passage from the gospel of luke chapter 1 where angel gabriel the one who stands in the presence of god comes to mary and tells her hail mary full of grace the apparition of angel gabriel is mentioned only twice in the bible the first one is the apparition to zacharia in the pompous situation of the temple in the most ritualistic manner zacharia is encountering angel gabriel with a message the second one is to mary in the remote village of nazareth thereafter not even in that gram panchayat we find the angel appearing again the message that was given to mary by the angel gabriel was one of grace hail is a normal greeting to any person but full of grace is the identity that mary is going to have from now on a new miracle that is happening in her life 
in the realistic sense of her practical life situation god is going to accompany you in your personal life what happens with this grace is that the grace transforms the person the attitude of mary as a simple village woman who was already betrothed to a man called joseph which is equal to a marriage except sexual relationship is going to be a top sitter be situation from now on because the grace of god is in you you are transformed this grace is given to you not in accordance with your efficiency or your ability or your talents it is the choice of god in your life and mary is also told the child's name is already given you only need to pronounce it normally in the history of the jewish tradition the child's name will be put by the father here a chosen child by god god's own child is presented to mary as her child it also shows that this child is not through the agency of a human interaction instead it is through the grace of god we need to realize this aspect of our life today in the living context of our life situation are we grace filled are we able to say like mary i am the handmaid of the lord let it be done to me in accordance with your word all my decision to marry joseph all that i dreamt together for him and with him let it be all a matter of yesterday today the grace has dawned on me mary in fact shattered her human dreams in order to accept the dream of god in her life once that happens you become hail mary full of grace yes my brothers and sisters that's exactly what the first reading is enlightening us king david who is now in a wonderful palace settled by god is thinking my god i am living in such a luxurious situation but you in a mere tent i shall build a house for you and nathan the prophet says go ahead with your plans even prophets certain times are not able to discern the will of god and given to the human fancies but god interferes here and tells david you building a house for me i do not need your house i have brought you out of the field and settled you here it is not your business to build a house for me i would like to walk with my people during the day in the form of a pillar of cloud and in the night in the form of a pillar of fire lighting up the path of my people you have a god who walks with you and that grace today is fulfilled in the life of mary immanuel god with us is graced in her womb and is gifted to the humanity around let this apparition of the angel gabriel and the consequent message that changed and transformed the life of mary through the grace of god be an innovative aspect of our life to understand grace working in us without depending too much on science and miracles my brothers and sisters we are called to touch the messiah who is born through the grace of god in the womb of mary may god bless us and have a blessed sunday amen